Johnny Cash looking like that? I wear black a lot. <laughs> black is uh, thinning. <laughs> I heard. So, uh, yeah, I'm all black today. Well, I won't make a crack about it being in the morning after the Alabama game. What do you want to move okay. the team on to uh, uh, Tennessee? <laughs> what have you seen from Tennessee? Well, um, a very uh, fast, athletic team, uh, really all the way around. Um, when you look at statistics on them, the thing that jumps out the most is what they're doing on special teams. They're the number one in America in kick return. They, uh, I think their punter is third in America in, in punting average. I think they're, in, I know they're in the top five or six in net punting na nationally. Um, their punt return, I think they're 25th in America, it's maybe first or second in the league, something like that. Uh, just, just a dynamic uh, return game, especially. But their punt team has done great as well. Their kickoff guy uh, knocks it out of the park most of the time. So, uh, big, big challenge in special teams. Uh, they're averaging over 400 yards um, offensively. They're very balanced, throwing and catching it. Um, got a back uh, herd that's carrying it uh, a good bit, averaging 98 yards a game. And Kamara, another side, his side kick back there. Uh, great, uh, great runner, but also I think second or third in receiving. Very dynamic player. So, you know, offensive line, bunch of 300 pounders. They're they're really an outstanding team. Sounds like a team. Sounds very similar to your team. Could you compare <laughs> their running back duo to your running back duo? Yeah, there's some similarities. You know, a, a guy that uh, is more of a traditional tailback, but can catch the ball in the backfield and herd and shove and. And then between Sony Michelle and Kamara, guys that you you know you can uh, put out as a wide receiver and run routes as a receiver, but also you know run routes out of the backfield and get good matchups on linebackers, things of that nature. Uh, very much, very much alike. The guys have already mentioned about the loud environment that they're getting ready for. How do you prepare the team for that kind of Right. Well, we're going to blast some music. We'll probably start today, as a matter of fact, just to get a taste of it. It's really uh, the first game that we think the, the crowd noise will be the way it's going to be. Um, very difficult to hear. Um, as a player, you could be standing right next, a center could be standing next to a guard and have to kind of yell at each other to communicate. So we got to get used to um, it being as loud as we can make it. And hopefully it'll be loud enough to simulate how it's going to be in the game. Will Rocky Top be included in that? I'm sorry? I said, will Rocky Top be included in the music? Oh, yeah, you got to play Rocky Top. We're, we're going to hear that song a few times, so we'll get them used to it. Coach, what do you remember about the last trip to Knoxville and all the injuries that Oh, uh, well, the, before you said injuries, um, the thing I remember the most was just that last minute drive and, you know, connecting. Uh, I think it was Wooten, maybe. Uh, a little touchdown, and all of a sudden we're in overtime, and I don't know if the ball fumbled through the end zone or out of bounds or whatever happened, but we get a chance to win it in overtime. Just a just a wild battle, really. But then, as you mentioned, injuries. You know, there's certainly some broken hearts that day. Um, you know, injuries hurt physically, but I think they hurt mentally as much or more than they do physically. <clears throat> How do you stress the importance of this game to your? Uh... Uh, charges. Tennessee needs this game. You guys need this game. Yeah, they, everybody knows it. I don't think we got to say how important it is. It's crucial. Anybody else? What, can you take us not to blow on Alabama, but what's the one thing you took away from that Alabama game and you went back and watched the film that uh, you could use for this week? Well, uh, just that all the little things matter. All the little assignments are very important. Now, there is no little assignment, so to speak. Every, everybody's job is crucially important and everything that we're teaching is for a reason. We gotta make sure we do a good job of teaching better and, and do a good job of, as players to learn better and to, uh, to execute better. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.